In this video, I'm going to show you how to grow amazing aquatic mosses just like this in your terrariums. It's super easy to do, so let's get started. First, get a nice looking glass container with a lid and place your soil into the terrarium. As you can see, my soil got stuck in the funnel. Once that's in, arrange the soil on a gradient so it's higher at the back and lower at the front. This means that more surface area is visible from the front. And at this point, I spray the soil with water until it's damp. This stops it moving when I add the moss. Be careful not to overdo it though, and remember, less is more when it comes to water and terrariums. This is Akadama, and moss loves growing on it. The particle size is slightly larger than I'd like, so I crush it until it looks just like this. Perfect. I add the Akadama into the terrarium and gently spread it across the surface of the substrate. I give it a few sprays with some water and now the terrarium is ready for the moss. I'd like to take a moment to thank Skate Nature for sending me such high quality aquatic moss. I've left a link to their website in my description. This wasn't a paid ad, I just genuinely love their products and I highly recommend them to you. Remove the moss from the container and get rid of as much of that propagation goo as possible you'll need to wash it off in the sink. Make sure you're thorough here or it will give you a mold headache later on. Once the moss is clean, take small pieces and place them on top of the Akadama. It's best to ensure as much of the moss is in contact with the Akadama as possible, so gently press it into place. Repeat this until the whole pot is used up, but don't worry if there are any gaps, as the moss will spread soon enough. This is a type of java moss and it has a slightly different planting method. It has a more vertical growth habit than the Christmas moss, so I take the whole piece of moss and using a pair of scissors I cut it into tiny pieces. This makes spreading it in the terrarium easier and creates a more even growth pattern. These scissors definitely work better than the first ones I used. Once it's all cut, your moss should look like this. I mentioned that moss loves growing on Akadama, but it equally likes growing on lava rock. I add the grains into the terrarium and spread it out using a paintbrush. Akadama and lava rock wick up water but allow any excess to pass through. This creates a perfect surface for the moss to grow on. It's moisture retentive and well draining. Now it's time to plant the moss. Using a pair of tweezers, take small pieces of the moss and place it on and around the lava rock. Repeat until the moss has been used up, but as I mentioned before, don't worry if there are any gaps as the moss will grow quickly and fill them. The terrariums might not look like much now, but these mosses grow quickly and in a few weeks under good light, they'll look just like this. Finally, cover the terrariums with a lid. I get these made at Simply Plastics and they're less than a few pounds. So your moss terrariums are complete. If you want to add plant cuttings, then this is a great base to start from, but equally, the terrariums will look fantastic just the way they are. Thank you for watching and if you make any please share them with me on Instagram. Have a great day.